vector representation in a rectangular form. So far, we have learned that we can represent a vector by drawing an arrow. The direction of the arrow represents the direction of the vector. And the arrow can be drawn to proper scale so that the length of the arrow can be used to represent the magnitude of the vector as well. There is one more way of representing vectors which is more mathematical, more powerful and more convenient. And that is the representation of the vector in rectangular form. I will call it as IJK form. Any vector of any magnitude and direction can be represented in the IJK form. I will take an example to illustrate this point. Let us say a man travels 3 meters in x direction. I can represent his displacement by a vector a such that a vector will be equal to 3m i cap. So this is the a vector and it is equal to 3 i cap. Here m is meters. Then he travels 4 meter in y direction. Let us say this displacement is represented by b vector such that b vector is equal to 4mj cap. So this is the b vector. It is equal to 4mj cap. m is meters. The question is how far is he from the starting point? His displacement from the starting point can be represented by a vector from the starting point to the ending point. So if we join a line from the starting point to the ending point, that will be the displacement of the man. So this is the displacement vector. Let us call it as C vector. From our knowledge of triangle law of vector addition, we know that C vector will be equal to A vector plus B vector. Because A vector is equal to 3m i cap and B vector is equal to 4m j cap, I can say C vector will be equal to 3m i cap plus 4m j cap. So this is the vector 3m i cap plus 4m j cap. And I am using a symbol of C to represent this vector. C has a direction. C has a magnitude. The magnitude of C will be very easy to find from the Pythagoras theorem. So 3i cap plus 4j cap represents a vector of magnitude 5. 3mi cap plus 4mj cap. This whole term is a vector of magnitude 5. And this vector makes an angle alpha with the x-axis. This is the angle alpha. It is very easy for us to find the value of alpha from plane trigonometry. We can say tan alpha will be equal to 4 divided by 3. And thus we know the value of alpha. This whole term is a new vector. It has a magnitude. We know it is equal to 5 meter in this case. And it has a direction which makes an angle of alpha with the x-axis. This term as a whole cannot be further simplified to get a more easy expression. 3mi cap plus 4mj cap is the vector sum of 3mi cap vector which is in the x direction and has a magnitude of 3 and 4mj cap which is in the y direction and have a magnitude of 4. And therefore, if we want to find what vector is represented by 3m i cap plus 4m j cap, we will first walk 3 meter in x direction and then we will walk 4 meters in y direction. The displacement from the starting point with its magnitude and direction will represent 3m i cap plus 4m j cap. The plus symbol here is a vector plus symbol which tells us to add two vectors.